In this video, we're going to take a look at writing absolute value equations when we're given solutions. All right, so the first thing is that this is all going to hinge on this right here. And so the form is going to be x minus the middle, and that's going to be equal to the distance from the middle. Okay, so the absolute value of x minus the middle is going to be equal to the distance from the middle. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at that in, in these two situations. And we're going to come back to this uh, in, in a little bit to explain a little bit more about what's going on here too. Alright, so if we want to write an absolute value equation that has the solutions of 2 and 12, what we want to do first is let's just work off this number line so we get a good feel for this. So 2 is located right here, right there, and 12 is located right there. Okay, so the first thing that we need is we need the middle between those two points. So to figure out what the middle is, we can just find the average of those two. So 2 plus 12 would be 14, and we divide that by 2 and we get 7. Okay, so that is going to be my middle right here. Okay, so 7 is going to go right inside those absolute values. So this equation is going to start out, we've got x minus the middle, we found the middle to be 7, so that's going to go inside the absolute value like so. Just a little note here, when you're writing absolute values, make sure you make them uh, noticeably taller than your numbers so that they don't get mixed in and you all of a sudden think this is minus 71. We don't want that. So then we need to figure out the distance from the middle. So we got to figure out what the distance is from the middle to either of our points. And because this is in the middle, it should be the same, right? So from 2 to 7 is how far? We need to figure out that distance right there. Well, that would be 5. We just subtract, right? Same story over here. That would also be 5 if you go from 12 to 7. So the distance from the middle would be 5. Now, let's just check this and make absolutely sure that it works. So if I plug in these x values, I should it should work. So 2 minus 7 would be negative 5. The absolute value of negative 5 is 5. So far, so good. If we put in 12, 12 minus 7 is 5, the absolute value of which is also 5. So life is good there is our equation that has those two solutions right there. Okay, let's take a look at this second one here. And for this one, we've got uh, some negative stuff, but don't let that scare you. That's okay, we can handle it. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and, again, find that middle. So we've got negative 5, which is located right here, and then we've got 1, which is located right there. Okay, so now we want the middle. And you might be able to eye it up, but just to be 100% certain, let's go ahead and just find the average. So negative 5 plus 1 would be negative 4. And then negative 4 divided by 2, that gives us negative 2. Okay, so negative 2, and if we look right here, that's going to be the middle. And that looks about right, right? We're going the same distance in either direction. So here's that number that's going to go inside right here. All right, so we have the absolute value of x minus the middle, which we found to be negative 2. And we're going to be able to simplify that, right? But I'll leave it like this for now. And that's equal to how far is it? The distance from the middle. So how far is it from here to there? or from there to there. Well, from negative 5 to negative 2, it's 1, 2, 3. We can count it out, or we can just subtract. Either way is fine. Both ways, we get 3. 
Now, we could simplify this a little bit, right? We can clean that up to be x plus 2, the absolute value of that whole thing, is equal to 3. Okay, again, we can check and make sure that this works. So, plug in my x values. Negative 5, negative 5 plus 2 would be negative 3. The absolute value would be 3. So far, so good. And 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. The absolute value is also 3. And we're good on that one as well. So here is my equation, which has those two for solutions. Now, if we back up just a second here and remember that the absolute value, by definition, is a number's distance from 0, well, if we just think of it this way, x minus 0 equals the distance, well, from the middle, but in this case, the middle is at 0. So we can see how the equation that we worked with to write these is the general form there. It follows right from the definition of absolute value. x minus 0, that's a distance from 0. Here it's x minus the middle, and that is our distance from the middle. And there we go. So, again, we can just remember this. We can look at it on a number line. When you get really good at these, you won't even have to use the number line anymore. And we find that middle, so that's the average of our two solutions. And then we got to find the distance from the middle to either of our points. I hope this video is helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do this.